My mum is evil. These are insects, and I'm going to have to eat these insects with a various of different food appliances. Including breakfasts, and cheese, and crisps, and also my lunch. So I'm going to put these things aside, and I'm going to open this green pack of insects that I have no idea what they are. These look horrible, Mum. By the way, my mum is behind the cameras right now, uh, so I can insult her as we go along for the suffering that she's made me do. She's smiling behind the camera right now. I, I dislike you. <laughs> oh, these look horrible. Oh, can you see that? That looks absolutely disgusting. It might focus in a sec. But anyways, it looks horrible. Those are worms. Oh no. Wait, is there like a little leaflet? Okay. Micronutritions. So we're in France, so everything's in French, so I'm gonna have to translate most of this stuff. Uh, oh, it's basically a load of advertising for another load of things. Oh. 60% protein. By the way, if I sound different, I am a bit sick, so uh, don't worry about it. It's not COVID. Uh, we're all good. Okay, so. 60% proteins, uh, it's got iron, magnesium, phosphors, calcium, and vitamin C. Sounds absolutely delicious, doesn't it? And then we've also got to accompany these disgusting nutritions, another pack of, what is this? Grasshoppers. Are you serious? Grasshoppers, this looks horrible. Why have you made me do this? <laughs> Oh. Soft <laughs> you love making me suffer, don't you? What? I, I'm, should I start? I'm gonna start with my lunch. Filled with insects. By the way, I'm not happy about this. So leave a like for my suffering. Am I gonna really... Come on. Two seconds. <sighs> I didn't uh, do that. I'm not happy about this, Mum. You made me do this. The worst thing is, she can't even eat the insects because she's a vegetarian. What should I start with? Why am I letting you choose? You're the one that made me start. I'm gonna choose the grasshoppers. These look terrible. Are these like dried? Yes. Okay. Dehydrated. Well, when you say it like that, it just makes it sound horrible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hydrate myself. Nice and crunchy. By the way, not sponsored. That looks horrible. Yeah, it's focusing, that's all. They're very small. They have eyes. This looks horrible. This looks bad. Can I like hide this with like the other bit of bread? On pate. You sick. Oh no. They're crunchy. Mm. Oh. You well. <laughs> you are sick. Oh, they've gone all over the table as well. Oh, I, that is horrible. This thing. This thing. Is it focusing? Not really. No. Is it focused now? I can feel the eye. <laughs> it's in your it's all in your head. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. It doesn't like it's weird because it doesn't taste like a huge amount. You can taste it. You can taste it. It just tastes like Cardboard, weirdly enough. Cardboard. But the texture is really what gets you. The human race is in for some exciting times. We're not. We're all gonna die. Whoever makes these deserves not to make these. However, I just realised something. These are probably gonna be our next contenders and they look what you would use to fish with. They look like maggots. 
These look like maggots. They are very much like maggots. These are maggots. I guess you could put them in the lid of your crisps and then you might get to see them better. What, on the camera? Mm. I don't think, no, I think it will focus right through it. That one just catapulted across the table. If you guys want, if you guys want to see more videos like this where I suffer eating different things, maybe even cheeses next time. Do do you want to do cheeses? Because you can eat cheeses. Mm. We might, we might, because we live in France. France is well known for its different variants of cheese. Oh, if varieties. yes, it's ver varieties of cheese. If you guys want to see like more videos like this where we explore the foods of France, like cheeses and stuff, let me know down in the comments below because that would be really cool. I would like to do that. Yeah, we could, we could like test cheeses against your homemade cheese. Mm -hmm. Why am I opening the entire packet of this? I'm gonna suffer. I'm already suffering because of you. You did this to me. How many grams in there? Because they're expecting the human race to eat these things. What, how many calories you mean? I don't know, how, many, how much does it weigh? I mean, I, it's like the price of caviar. Is it? Bloody hell. Uh, so it's 10 grams, mm. and per 100 grams, there's 493 calories. So that little pot there costs about five pounds. Yes, so it, well, five, it costed five euros 90 for this one, and this one here costed, what, six euros 90? Mm. So we spent about 13 euros on these things, and they're terrible. Good. He's scraping the grasshoppers off his foot. Let's have some worms. That doesn't look good. There are grasshopper looking things in this. In fact, it looks like there's wasps in there as well, and it's horrible. Apparently, you can buy a party box. Party I don't want to go to. Don't do this. It's a horrible experience. So we can uh, safely say that tastes like shit. Okay, so lesson learnt, do not drink Tropico after you've eaten a load of insects, because it also tastes like crap. Crisps. Now, mother is here today to ruin my entire childhood of crisps with uh, insects. Um, do you want a crisp? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Cheese and there with that one stick. You think I need cheese? Philadelphia. Is Philadelphia in the UK? So Philadelphia, a French... No, no. Philadelphia is not a French name, it's Really Philadelphia useful. Can you? Philadelphia, if you don't have it in your country, well it's a Fre I don't know, it might be just a French thing, I've got no clue. Uh, all I know is that um, my mother likes it, uh, she eats it instead of meat, and the only reason I like it is because I like it on my childhood crisps, which are about to be ruined by insects. No.
What is this? What is this? What is this? Okay, so these are sour cream and onion. Mine is hot and spicy. And my second favorite is the sour cream and onions because they're really good. But what are your guys' favorites? Tell us down in the comment section down below. I'll be harassing as many comments as I possibly can. So that would be really cool. Okay. This is... Where's the powder on this? Did they forget to put the powder on this? This, I can see it's almost through them. What have they done? Taste them and see. Right. Okay. If anything, that that's the one thing I hope after this video. Okay. Now that is terrible. Now that really does taste like crap. Right. So the next thing I'm going to be trying, I'm going to leave this snack for last. I'm going to be trying a Belvita biscuit, one of these. They're quite well known here in France. I mean, they're very, very well known here in France, but whether they are in the UK or... Okay. Are these specific ones? So the really cool thing about these is they just snap open and then you can have like some nice liquid chocolate inside. So, what I'm going to do naturally is I'm going to stuff some insects in each side of these. Right, so I'm going to have this one be the classic and this one be the aperitif. I'm just going to pick them up and I'm going to stick them in there. It's got little teeth in it. <laughs> That should do it. Okay, so. You're not the one that's eating them either. No. Okay. Here's how it's gonna go. Oh. Oh no. For some reason they're even crunchier than before. It's like they've gone stale. Oh. No. That's just ruined breakfast for me. Bowl. This doesn't look good. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like if this cow were to come and take a dump on my food. And its previous meal was just insects and grass with more cow dung. <laughs> I'll eat this without it though. Okay, so the last thing is milker. Good old strengthy milker. I like this stuff. A bit too much. I really do like this. This is probably my number one favorite chocolate ever. Ever. Apart from Hagen Dust. Hagen Dust is the best ice cream make. I want to know what is your favorite ice cream make? Because mine is Hagen Dust. There's no beat about the bush. It's Hagen Dust. Okay. How do I open this? <laughs> Go on to a speech about this is my number one chocolate and I don't know how to open it. Okay, that's that's a bit far fetched. This 
is just milkiness from Milka. Do you see that snap? That snap was that was a good snap. That was a good snap. You might guys might not realize this, but tech in the tech community, there's a thing called peel porn, uh, and it's when you take all the stickers off of things and like the big plastic protections off of everything. But this is called snap porn now. We just meme that snap porn. Look at the quality of that nutty chocolate. It's pretty good. Now let's ruin it with this. So we're going to put the grasshoppers on it first. I can't quite believe what I'm seeing. I can't quite believe what I just saw. <laughs> you human entropy. Yum, 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 yum. You are, oh my god. Did you not see the bloody thing? So that is horrible. Don't do this to yourself. So these taste like crap. Um, literally. These taste really bad, and uh, I don't recommend them to anyone at all. Even if you live in the woods, even if if you're watching this through a government screen spying on me, I don't recommend this. And you, even though you're not recording. And Alexa. Alexa's not here. But this is terrible, and you shouldn't buy these because they taste terrible and are extremely expensive. How expensive? Like 13 euros? Mm -hmm. 13 euros for two, oops, two really small bowls. What is the point in this? They taste like literal garbage. There's only two packs in our shop, and I think they must have been recently added because we've never seen them before. And they just taste terrible. So my recommendations are to not buy these. Ever. Ever, 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 <coughs> ever. Subscribe. I'm dying. I'm dying. Send help. <laughs>